Today we're going to go ahead and finish up our final exercise for our code tracing in activity 1.4 called the WASPs. Now the WASP is a very simple program to debug, but there are a couple new features that we have to look at in order to understand what is going on with our code. So from your Schoology page, go ahead and scroll down to the bottom. You're gonna need to download that WASPs hex file and import that into MakeCode. Once you select that download file, remember we're gonna need to go into MakeCode. And from our MakeCode learning environment, we're gonna need to go to that import button and import that hex file in. Now, once you import that file in, the first thing you're going to notice is that all of our lines or all of our blocks are kind of grayed out. And when your blocks are grayed out, it basically means they are disabled. So no matter what we do here, nothing is going to actually run. So we could take a look at our emulator and we can see nothing is showing up. We can see that we have an if statement, we have an else if statement, and we have an else. So things to keep in mind, if statements take priority in your program, and it looks like it's telling us if we press the A button, we should see a happy face. The else if is the second condition that's gonna be looked at in your program. And that's gonna be basically if the B button is pressed, we should see a frowny face. And if neither one of those are pressed, we're gonna see that kind of straight face at the bottom. Now, we need to find out what our objective is and if that's what the program is supposed to actually be doing and what is going to trigger this event. So if I look in that if statement, I can see that I have two comments, one in the if statement and one in that button A is pressed. So if we check out that first comment. What we're going to notice here is that my if statement is telling me that if we hold down the A button, that's going to make the straight mouth face become a smiley face. Holding the B button down will show me that straight mouth face will become a frown face and the face returns to a straight mouth face whenever the button is released. So it looks like pretty much my code is working. We just don't have anything to trigger that. So again, if the A button is pressed, they should be happy. B button is pressed, should have that frown face. And if nothing is pressed, we're gonna see that straight face down below. So here's my objective. So I wanna make sure I go ahead and copy that objective and we're gonna place that into the code tracing chart. So I'm gonna go down to my objective here and I'm gonna paste that entire objective into that code tracing chart. This way I know exactly what is going on. Now you're gonna notice that your code is broken down into individual blocks and we also have a spot where there is no event handler. Since most likely that's where my bug is going to be, we need to have somewhere to identify what is actually going on. We have to decide what that's gonna be. So when we look at the objective, it's telling me that we should basically be able to press the A or B button at any time and something should happen. If neither of those are pressed, then we're gonna see that straight face. So this to me means we have to have some type of event handler that's gonna continuously be checking our program. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is take a look at some of the basic event handlers that we have. And the one that sounds like it would work best for me is probably gonna be a forever loop because this is constantly gonna repeat the code and check those conditions. So before we go ahead and attach that into our program here, let's look at some of the other comments that we have basically placed in there. The first one that we have is holding down the A button shows a smiley face. So again, if we hold the A button, we are seeing a smiley face. So to me, it looks like that one is going to work. So we can go ahead and paste that into our WASP code tracing chart, and that is going to be a yes. If we check that second condition here, this is telling me that holding down the B button, I'm gonna go ahead and see a frowny face. And again, B button is pressed, we see the frown face. That to me looks like it's gonna go ahead and work. So we can go ahead and say yes. And then for my L statement down below, if A or B are not pressed, that's when we're gonna go ahead and see that frown face. So if no buttons are pressed, that's when that will appear. So in theory, this looks like it is all going to work, but we still have that bug and that is that there is no event handler to trigger this. So let's go ahead and try a couple different ones here. Go ahead and collapse those comments if you've already opened them up. That'll give us a little bit more room to see what's going on. Let's take a look at the forever loop and let's bring in an on start. Now remember an on start is only going to run your program one time. So if we drop that on start event handler, what you're gonna notice is when the program initializes, it's gonna check my conditions. Was the A button pressed? No. 
Was the B button pressed? No. So we're going to show that straight face. Now that's on start is only going to run the code one time, which means if I hit the B button or the A button, nothing's going to happen. The program is already run. It's already executed all of its lines. It determined that the else was the true statement here. So that's what we get. So we're not going to be able to repeatedly check my conditions. So we're going to get rid of that on start and let's drop in a forever. Now, just like the on start, when the program initializes, we should see that straight face. However, my program is constantly checking. So it's checking that if statement, it's checking that else if, if neither are true, it's running the else, then it's going to repeat and it's going to keep doing that over and over and over again. This way, if we go back and hold down that A button, what we should see now is that that if statement has become a true statement, the A button is being held down. Therefore, we should see the smiley face. If we release, it's going to go back to the straight. Same thing with your B button. If we hold the B button down, we should be able to go ahead and get that frowny face and it will remain a frowny face again until we release. So here we figured out that our bug is just adding a simple event handler. So in the outcome here, what we're basically looking for is that we need a forever block or some sort of event handler to trigger the event. So we'll go ahead and use a forever block is needed to trigger our program. And that is not working obviously because we just do not have that in there. So your bug is our program does not have an event handler to trigger our program. Now, once we have that in there, what we're going to go ahead and look at is just simply adding the corrected code. And again, to do that, we can just right click and make code. Go ahead and take that snapshot. If you're on a Chromebook, remember to go down the right hand side and click copy to clipboard. And then we can just go ahead and paste that in. So a very simple program, but we do need to understand how event handlers work within our program.